We will now look at Seabor through examples. The Seabor.me website will allow us to make conversions between JSON left window and Seabor right window. If we type 0 as a JSON value and click on the green arrow, we convert it to Seabor. We get the hexadecimal value 0, which can be read in binary as 8 zeros. The three leftmost bits give the positive integer type and the following five bits give the length or value. The five right bits at zero therefore encode the value zero. With one, we have the same type of encoding, and so on, up to 23. When we get to 24, the Seabor representation changes. 18 in binary is written as 0011000 and 24 in decimal. 100 gives the same encoding. The first byte doesn't change because it gives the type and length of 1 by t. However, the value obviously changes. We can test larger numbers to get different links. Minus 1 uses the negative integer type. The C bore, equivalent of minus 1, is written in binary as 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. We find the type 0 to 1 for negative integers and the value 0, 0, 0 since we subtract 1 from the absolute value of the number to be encoded. Minus 23 and minus 24 are also encoded on 1 by t. If we enter a character string, the first byte is 65 in hex or 01100101. So the type is a character string containing five elements. An array is coded in the same way. These are C bore elements with their small integers. It's not visible, but if we change the array values, it's much more visible. We can also nest arrays. For a list of pairs, we use the same principle, which should no longer be a secret to you. Finally, we can see how decimal numbers are encoded.